वी आर लुकिंग एट चैप्टर नंबर फोर कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑन कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड्स। फर्स्ट इज इथेन विद मॉलिक्यूलर फॉर्मूला सी टू एच सिक्स हैज हाउ मेनी कोवर एंड बॉन्ड्स द आंसर इज सेवन कोवर एंड बॉन्ड्स सेवन विल सी अबाउट दिस हाउ these are seven because there are certain questions relating to this butanone is a four carbon compound with functional group ketone ketone is the answer so the fun functional group of butanone is ketone while cooking if the bottom of the vessel is getting blackened on the outside it means so if you're cooking and it blackens here that means the fuel or the gas burner the gas coming out of it or anything which is used as a fuel is not getting burned properly b is the answer explain the nature of covalent bond using bond formation in ch3cl so this is c we have h h h and cl so c has four outside means it it wants to combine all these four hydrogen will combine with three and chlorine will combine with one of these so carbon can neither lose four of its electrons nor gain four of its electrons as both the process require extra energy and that is going to make this system unstable for carbon in order to complete the octet it completes by sharing four electrons with other carbon atom or it may be atoms from other element as we see here you know it can combine with carbon it can combine with any other element like here we have hydrogen and chlorine in this case so the bond that are formed by sharing electrons these are known as covalent bonds these are covalent bond co means they are cooperating and they are cooperating with their valent valence or valent electron so in covalent bonding both the atoms share the valence electrons so say this is a b a has this b has this so they share these the shared electrons being the valence shell of both the atom this is a's this is b's so uh, carbon requires four electron to complete complete its r uh, the octet what about hydrogen hydrogen atom requires one electron to complete its duplet so hydrogen is completing its duplet here and what about chlorine chlorine requires electron to complete the octet so it already has six or seven and this seventh one will combine with the this one so it will make its own octet eight so all these cases share the electron as a result carbon forms three bonds with hydrogen one this one two and three and then when one with the chlorine which you see here draw the electron dot structures for ethanoic acid h2h propanone and f2 so this ethanoic acid is c2 h3 h4 and o2 right so they are 2c 2o and 3h so first uh, we'll take this first carbon combined with three hydrogen means making covalency or covalent bond with them then this carbon making with one with carbon other with oxygen other with another oxygen and one oxygen combining with hydrogen hydrogen sulfide because sulfur 1 2 3 4 5 6 it has it needs two more so it will take one from hydrogen one from hydrogen uh, another hydrogen and hydrogen will take one from this one one from this one so it is making its duplet sulfur is making its octet propanone propanone is c3 h6 o so c these three c combine now these three will a carbon because one has been combined so two carbons will covalency or covalent make covalent bond with three hydrogen here also three hydrogen and then this carbon will combine or make a covalent bond with oxygen all making their octet and duplet f2 fluorine fluorine has seven it want one more this fluorine has one it want one more so this is how f2 is formed what is homologous series explain with an example 
A homologous series is, is a series of carbon compounds that have different number of carbon atoms. But they fall in the same functional group. For example, methane, ethane, propane, butane. They all are part of alkane, alkane homologous series. The general formula is CnH2n plus 1. Just place 1 here. This will be C1. H2 into 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is this uh, 2n plus 2. So, 2 into 1 plus 2, that is 4. So, CH4. Methane. Now, you put 2, you put 3, you put 4. You will get ethane, propane, butane. And you must notice here the difference of each of them is CH2 unit, successive compounds. How can ethanol and ethanoic acid be differentiated on the basis of their physical and chemical properties? First is ethanol is liquid at room temperature. It has a very pleasant odor. When we talk about ethanoic acid, it has a vinegar-like smell. The melting point of this ethanoic acid is 17 degrees centigrade. That means uh, it's below temperature, uh, room temperature. So in winters, it is going to freeze. Ethanoic acid reacts with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates to form salt, water and carbon dioxide as you see here. It combines with uh, metal carbonates and metal hydrocarbonates, this carboxylic acid, this is exactly this one. So carboxylic acid is combining with these, either of these and it will form salt, water and carbon dioxide. While ethanol, if we take, take the result of ethanol, it does not react with them. It doesn't react with no reaction, right? In the electrolytic refining of a metal M, what would you take as anode, a cathode and electrolyte? So the question is, this is anode, this is cathode, here is electrolyte, anode, cathode, right. The first is uh, anode, it has to be impure metal M, cathode has to be pure metal M and this solution electrolyte solution should be the salt of metal M. Why are carbons and its compound used as fuels for most application? See there are various property of this carbon and its compound that it that makes it ideal for application or employed as a fuel to produce energy. First is they give lot of heat and light when they are burned in air and when they are burned in air this saturated hydrocarbons they burn with clean flame clean flame no smoke or least smoke is produced and they also provide high energy high calorific value that is why they are used as fuels for most applications explain the formation of scum when hard water is treated with soap now when soap combined with hard water it doesn't gel that much right it's very difficult so there is a scum or a precipitate being formed so soap does not work properly when the water is hard because soap is what soap is a sodium or potassium salt of long chain fatty acids so this hard water contains salts of calcium and magnesium if, a, if the water is hard it contains salts of calcium and magnesium so when soap is added to hard water calcium and magnesium ions present in water they actually displace this k and uh, na sodium and potassium ion from the soap molecules and they form a precipitate which is an insoluble substance called as scum and a lot of soap is wasted in this process. What change will you observe if a test soap, if you are going to test this soap with litmus paper? See this soap is basic in nature so it is going to convert the red litmus, blue, red litmus to blue. But one thing you need to consider is the color of blue litmus will remain blue. What is hydrogenation and why is it, uh, it you know important in industrial application? Hydrogenation as the name suggests application or addition of hydrogen. Now hydrogen, uh, hydrogenation is the process of addition of hydrogen as we suggested. What happens here is the unsaturated hydrocarbons as you see here are added with hydrogen in the presence of nickel catalase or you can, it can be palladium and it gives rise to saturated hydrocarbons. So that this reaction is applied to hydrogenation of vegetable oils and that contains long chain of unsaturated carbons. Which of the following hydrocarbons undergo addition reactions? See, 
the unsaturated hydrocarbons they will undergo addition reaction and which of these or uh, the unsaturated carbon category which of these fall cis c3 h6 and c2 h2 these two one and two they go and uh, they undergo the addition reaction give a test that can be used to differentiate chemically between butter and cooking oil see butter contains saturated fats so it cannot be hydrogenated on the other hand if you talk about oil they have saturated fats that is why it can be hydrogenated to saturated fats solids explain the mechanism of cleaning action of soaps so the dirt see this is a this is a dirty cloth this is the dirt and this is a soap solution right and these are this is soap solution all this dark blue and these are soap molecules so the dirt which are present in cloth they are organic in nature and if they are insoluble in water just water is not going to take them out so it cannot be removed by washing only with water but when we dissolve soap in water this hydrophobic ends they attach themselves to this dirt and remove it from the cloth see they are attaching and they are removing it from the cloth then these molecules of soap arrange themselves in a michel form like this this is a michel form and trap this dirt at the center of the cluster this michel this michel remain suspended in the water and then you can just throw that water so the dust particle are easily rinsed away by the water so these were questions and answer on carbon and its compound thank you so much and take care of yourself